What's good, Craig Gang? We're right here today. We're going to check the camera shooter bows. Now, I know in the last video, whenever I shot my bow and checked my trail camera, I said if we can get enough locks, I'll check it three days later. Well, I'm sorry, guys. It's almost a week and a half, but you got to look on the bright side. We've had a whole lot of time to get pictures. Therefore, we should have a lot of critters and a lot of pictures this time. Now, the trail camera is right there. Let's photo bomb it once again. Alrighty, now let's just go ahead and get it off the tree real quick. To be honest, it might be dead. Yeah, I think it's dead. Nope, it ain't dead. It's good. We should have a bunch of pictures then. Now, in the last trail camera video, what was thought to be a skunk ape tampered with their trail camera, and it didn't get the right angle. This time, let's hope that the skunk ape left it alone, but hey, we gotta go check them to find out. Here we are, guys. About to check the trail cam picture. Slide the memory card in. Boom, let's go. Let's check those pics. Okay, here we are. This is the day I said it. Nothing there. Boom. There's my cousin. Let's check another one. Boom. There he is again. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he maybe dropped his keys or maybe he's like looking at a dead squirrel he just kicked or something i don't know let's keep looking boom oh wow there's lassie okay next picture all right there's our first deer looks like it is a doe a little skinhead right there i believe it's the same doe nothing special there we have another doe nothing special that's a buck guys we got a little spike on the property we ain't too interested in him though next picture nice little spike in velvet guys if all else fails and Bucky just disappears, you know, we may take him. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Nothing. 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 Well, a deer over here. Nothing. Oh, dang. Dude. Bro, we got a cow. We got a cow here. Yes, sir. We'll be out of him this trapping season. All we gotta do is wait for season to come in and boom! That is a dead dog right there. That's a dead cow. There's a spike again. There's a spike again. There's a spike again. There's two deer actually running away, and I bet you a lucky ran them off. And here we got whatever that is. I'm pretty positive that's just a plain old possum. We'll also take care of him this trapping season. Then there we got nothing and me taking a selfie. Now, before we get back out there and set up the trail camera and then shoot our bows, it is Sunday, and I'm going to hit you up with a little verse right now. This week's verse is coming from Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Now, almost exactly one week ago was when all the everything was going bad with my YouTube channel, guys. I had like messed up all my all my a lot of videos were posted accidentally. Like, guys, I was honestly thinking about quitting YouTube. It was it was so bad. And then I was just like, no, guys, because God gave me this YouTube channel. I've done talked about that in the past. God gave me this YouTube channel, so He obviously wants me to do it. And yeah, it was getting sort of burdened. It was getting it was getting kind of hard. I was getting worried, but I went back to the Lord, and He took care of me. Just like the verse said, if you come to Him, He will give you rest, as He did for me. But now back to the trail camera. At this spot, we didn't see Bucky, and it's been there for a good week. We know Bucky's not at this spot, so I actually have another trail in my mind that I'd like to check here before season starts. And guys, season's coming up, and season is almost here. So I need to be picking out where I'm going to be hunting. But uh, yeah, that's what trail cameras are for. Let's get out there and put that thing on a tree. So now we're at the place where I'm thinking about setting the trail camera. I'm actually thinking about setting it on this tree, watching this trail right here. One, because the turnip field's right up the road. And two, there's actually a really nice hickory tree right there. And the squirrels should be all over that. And I just want to get a few squirrels on camera and just see, you know, how many there actually is. So yeah, my plan is to set it right here, facing on that trail, catch everything that goes up in this trail. And I've also caught fox on this exact trail too. So we should get all kinds of wildlife. It's just an all around hot game trail and fyi i caught the fox right there on that exact spot and the trail camera you can't see it from here it's actually on that tree right there so yeah there's a lot of critters that come through here whether it be large game small game or predators they all three use them now we're out here gonna shoot our bows sometimes i just feel like shooting my bow can get a little boring for you guys so what i'm gonna start doing is telling a story and tell it to you guys in between shots now i would tell you about the time i got bit by a possum but, you know, I've already done that in my weed eating vlog. By the way, right now we're going to be shooting at 20 yards. I want you guys to go down in the comment section and comment what kind of story time. Whether it be a trapping story time, a fishing story time, a big deer story time. I don't know, just any kind of story time. Tell me what kind of genre or, or just give me a random category about what you might want the story time to be about. We're going to put a good arrow in it and then I'm going to tell you the story after this. I think today's story is going to be about the first high school bass fishing tournament I ever competed in. Okay, so let me set the scene for you. I was a freshman in high school. Now I'm a junior. But, you know, it was our first one. It was the dead of the summer. It was hot, guys, okay? It was hot. The lake, I ain't going to change the name, but it's a big bass lake. It's honestly a trophy lake. The lake was built for trophy bass. The limit was 22 inches. So here's how they done it. So in the tournament, they really didn't expect you to keep her. Because you could only keep one keeper, and it was basically a giant. Because it had to be over 22 inches. So here's how they done it. It was merely Major League Fishing style. Every scoreable bass counted. So what we'd do is, if we had a bass, we'd lay it on the ruler, take a picture of it with its tail. Except here's the thing. It went by length of the fish. And then they average the length of the fish to a weight, and then they put it all in the computer. I'll tell you how we done after this shot. So, you know, me and my partner, we's out there. We's hype. We's like, oh yeah, 
We gonna win. We went out there first thing, we hit the dam. Cause you know, we did practice the week before and that was really the only place we got bit. So we hit the dam, we was fishing a little bit. But anyways, we fished those and here's another thing. They cut it up in halves. That way if you did catch a keeper fish, you wouldn't have to keep it all day and risk killing it. But anyways, the first half, we caught two nice fish. You know, we was like, yeah man, we're doing pretty good. Cause you know, everybody else, most people didn't catch any, but there's a few people who did. And so, you know, then we fished around the second half. We know, we doodled around a little bit. We caught two more. So, we basically matched the first half. We came in with, well, what they averaged up. We came in with, uh, shoot, I don't know. They thought they were three pounds. No, those four fish were four fat fish, okay? The four fish we caught was at least eight pounds. I'm not in line, guys. They were good fish. They were short, but, like, they were fat. And that's just because it's a trophy lake. Like, all the fish in that lake are good size and good and fat and healthy and everything. So, you know, we pulled up, we docked, everybody was saying, hey, did you get any? No, didn't get any. Hey, did you get any? Oh, no. uh, we got one, but he wasn't big enough. And, you know, then there was us. We caught four. We like, oh my gosh, we won. We like 100% sure we thought we won that thing. We thought we had it in the bag. <laughs> we didn't at all. We didn't at all. Little did we know, there was a team of seniors who came in with like, 35 fish. And if you know anything about Major League Fishing, uh, well, yeah, they pretty much just dog stomped us. No. Later in the weigh-in, we figured out that it wasn't just one team that came in with 35 fish. It was like seven teams that came in with more fish than us. So in all honesty, we had like eighth place. But there was no one from our school there, so we claimed we got third place and everyone believed us. And that is how I got third place in my first ever high school bass fishing tournament. And if you're wondering, that was pre-YouTube. There's not a video of it. If you are a true gray gangster, head on over to my Instagram, at KendallGray1, and let's blow up this picture. I posted it a few days ago, and I'm going to try to start posting a whole lot more on Instagram. So be sure to follow me on there. We're going to shoot us about two more shots, and then we're going to skedaddle. Uh, KendallGray1.com slash shop. Uh, support the channel by buying some hot merch. Roll the outro. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right, and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.